Hi, Mark Lagson here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the PHP settings in GoDaddy. Now, the reason I'm recording this video is because I tried to install a plugin. Uh, this was Optimized Press, and this is what I use for most of my websites. I'll leave a link down below uh, the video for this. But um, the actual plugin wouldn't install. I was getting a message saying that the link that I was trying to follow uh, had expired. So I received and I got in touch with support and I received an email, now this is just part of the email, and it says the reason that you're getting this error is because your server does not meet the minimum requirements. Can you please get in touch with your hosting and have them set PH, your following PHP settings, please? Okay, so I got in touch with GoDaddy. Now GoDaddy uh, informed me that they can do this for me, but it's gonna cost me around $70. Uh, so obviously, rather than spending $70 on this, then I thought I'd try and figure this out for myself. Uh, and I've done this, which is what I'm going to show you, and obviously then I can save you some money as well. Okay, so I've also seen some videos on YouTube that um, they either go through the process and um, don't actually speak on the video for some reason, um, or there's, an, there's another video that I saw where they show you a different website to go to, and it's all slightly confusing. So I'm just going to basically show you within a few minutes how to do this very quickly and very easily so that you can save yourself a lot of time and effort and also save yourself some money as well. So what we'll do first is go to GoDaddy. Okay, so I'm in the GoDaddy account. I'm going to go to this web hosting, so manage all. And I'm going to click on the domain name. So this is web hosting with cPanel. Click on the domain name. Okay, and then I can see the cPanel admin. So I'm going to click on that. So you'll see that this is for this domain here. And you'll see if I scroll down, then if we go down to software, then this one here, you can see select PHP version. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. And then you'll see top right hand corner, switch to PHP options. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you'll see all of these different options here. Okay, so you can see from the um, settings that I've been sent, so these settings here, these are the ones that I need to change. So max execution time, 60. Okay, so if we go back to GoDaddy, we can see max execution time is currently 30. So I'm gonna click on that, change that to 60 and apply. So you can see now that's changed. I'm gonna save. So always remember to save the settings, okay? And if we go back to the, uh, the settings, so max input time, 60. So if we go back, and let's go max input time 60. Max input time 60, it's only minus one at the moment. So let's go for 60, apply. Just gonna save that as well. Go back. Uh, upload max file size 35M. So where's this? Upload max file size. So it's only on two at the moment. So we'll put that to uh, 30, got 32 there, that says it needs to be 35M, so we'll see if we can actually change it manually, I don't think I can, so maybe just put that to 64, apply, save, and we go back, so max input, uh, sorry, post max size 35M, so post max size, it's only on eight at the moment. So we'll put that to 64 as well, apply, save. So you can see these have all been saved, look. And we'll go back. So max input vars, 3000. So where are we looking? So max, so I can't actually see that on here. Yeah, I can't see that, don't know about you. Um, let's go back, and memory limit 64M. So memory limit, memory limit, so it's on 128. So I may as well just leave it as that for now. Obviously that's um, gonna cover that. So that now has then changed these uh, PHP settings. Okay, so that's basically as quick as and as easy as that. So now the, um, the problem, the issue that I was having uploading the plugin, now I've changed all these. I'm just going to click save again just to make sure, and then uh, that should be okay. 
So I hope that video has helped you. Uh, like I say, this is just a very quick and easy way of doing that rather than trying to explain it all very complicatedly. Um, you know, I've seen some other videos, like I say, that go into a number of different things and tell you to go and check out a number of different uh, links, such as such as this here, PHP version and all this kind of stuff. And you've got all these details it goes through, but um, you know, just to actually change it doesn't seem that you actually need to go through all that. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel free to leave me a comment if you get stuck, if you want any more help with anything else, and I'll speak to you again soon.